Well, well, what's going on, guys? Lucas here with Love Puppets Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Mob Mayhem. So, guys, in the last episode, we finished the villager breeder and the iron golem farm. And I have actually recorded another video between this. The video is perfectly fine, guys. The audio file seems to be missing, like, the beginning of the video, the middle of the video, and the end of the video. So this video will have random clicks, clicks, no, clips, probably, from the last video of me referencing things that I did in the last video for you guys to see. So, as you can probably tell already, between episodes... I did this Iron Golem transport going up to here, down. This is where they die. And I have killed about 44 Iron Golems so far. That's not too shabby whatsoever. But you're like, oh, this is different. You're, you're not wrong. You're, you're totally right. So the problem I was having was that the villagers were spawning outside of the, well, the villager spawner area. Which isn't ideal because we want to collect all of them and not have to have them interfere with the spawn rate of this. So I had to make this two wider, center the villager spawner, and then they were spawning on this side as well. So I had to push this wall over. And you guys already saw it, but we destroyed the that from working. And we now have the cow farm right here. So basically it's the same concept. I got spawners here and spawners there spawning in the cows. And then... Every few seconds, water turns on, allowing them to spawn, and then water turns off. No, water turns off, allowing them to spawn, and then water turns on, just like this, and allows them to fall to their death. And you'll see why shortly, or what we do with them shortly. <clears throat> so I'll just show you guys a quick clip of me actually building this, or some clips of me building this, and how much of a struggle this was. So guys, this is the first time I have done any kind of time-lapse chat or talking to you guys while the video is in fast forward. I already know what's going on in this video. This is after I have recorded everything. But I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about as to why this video happened the way it did. So this content you're seeing right now, I recorded a few days ago and... I sit down and I record these videos for approximately an hour and a half to two hours long. I get all the content together and then I go to edit the videos the next day or the day after that. And when I actually did that, I got sat down, put all the audio together. And when I was working on the Audacity audio file, there was about five minute chunk missing from the beginning. A few ten minute chunks or five minute chunks missing from the middle. And then the whole ending where I say, have a good day guys, blah, 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 that was all missing too. So I don't know why it happened the way it did, but it just is my luck. It's just the way it's happening. And this isn't the first time it's happened. It actually happened episode three or four, I believe, or maybe it was five, where I actually told you guys that I had already recorded this episode, but something else had messed up. Looking back at this, I'm not sure if the video quality is top-notch. It might just be the preview that my editing software is giving me, but there might be lines going through the screen. And I really, really hope that it's not. But I'm not going to know until this video renders. And as soon as I hit render, it's about an hour and a half after I hit render that it renders out all these frames for the video. Also, I'm not sure what you guys like. If you guys like these fast forwarded clips, let me know. It really means a lot to me because it is good criticism on my videos. If you don't like it, let me know why you don't like it. Because then I can add music in or I can do these chats over top of it. I can do so many different things with the video. I just don't know what my audience wants to see. I haven't had enough interaction with my subscribers where they're actually giving me good criticism or good advice as to 
what you guys want to see, what you think I could do better, that kind of stuff. Let's get back to the video, guys. <clears throat> so now that you guys have seen that, you'll know that this was too wide, and now it's one wide, lifting them up. As you can tell, it's not perfect, but the cows come across here, fall to their death here, and almost instantly die. They land in that lava, just get burnt enough to give me cooked steak. So the problem I'm having now is most of them are making it to the top. Please don't, don't, don't. Okay. They start dying right there. So there, that guy made it to the top. This guy, come on, come on. You know you want to. There you go. Good boy. Most of them make it to the top. I'd say about 70%, maybe 75% of them are actually making it through. And the ones that do die, I have a hopper at the bottom actually collecting them. So the problem I had was I wanted to do a 2x2 two two tunnel going up, but cows will naturally fit in like a 1x1 one one air gap. So they all got jammed up inside this tube. Some made it through, but some of them, or most of them, actually got stuck. So that's kind of unfortunate. So I haven't seen the results from the last uh, video, or the one before this video, not this one that I didn't actually edit, was um, I might be building one up top here, either on camera, off camera, or I'll just do a fast forward motion or video of me actually building it. So that way it doesn't take up the whole video. I just want to hear you guys let me know what you want to see, and I'll get that done. This is also new. I did research and pretty much it's like a seven doors equals one villager and so many villagers equals so many iron golems. So I kind of thought that meant if I added more doors, then I would get more iron golems. And it doesn't seem to help at all. Like, I don't know if it's made it worse, but it's not the greatest. So I have to do more research. I want to maybe change the design. Um, as you guys know, in the last episode, we had a villager explosion here. It was horrible. Leg was down to like one frame per second. So what I did was, as this middle part fills up, they come around to the side here, and they will go straight at the tube, and then, Jesus, die in lava up top there. So that's the method of this. What you guys will see now is an AFK session I did. It was a 40-minute session. And basically, you're just going to see this spawning, the villagers dying, cows spawning, and this going down. And you'll actually get to see a few iron golems swim through here. So it kind of worked out that I got all the farms going in the same video. Today's video, like we still need to work on getting lots of iron. This is not nearly enough iron for our storage system. So that's not going to be in today's video. But we, what we are going to do today is take out the zombie skeleton farm. And we are going to transfer it to be underground, so that way they spawn, fall to their death, and then, well actually they're not going to fall to their death, they're going to fall, just like this here, come up in a tube, and I might actually leave it over there, so that way all I have to do is feed them all there, they come, they die, and I constantly collect bones, rotten flesh. I'm thinking about actually making the zombies a XP farm, so I'll have it come off to the side, and then I'll have skeletons there just collecting their bones, which would be awesome. So we're going to get started on that. We're going to tear this down and tear that down just because that's now ugly and this is now beautiful. So yeah, we don't need that. And let's do this.
Okay, guys, so I am just about finished tearing down this mob spawner. Whew, this has been a struggle and a half. Well, maybe not a struggle. It's just been a lot of time spent on doing this. And we're not even close to being done because we still have to... Oh, I fell in a hole. We still have to dig an entire hole for the actual spawners to go. Um, I've been putting my wood in here. At least I've got loads of wood for when we go to build the second uh, mob farm. But what I'm going to do is dig out an area right down here to actually do this. So I'm going to grab my shovel and actually first thing I'm going to do is some quick research to figure out how far apart spawners need to be and how far down they need to be in order to spawn mobs. So we'll be back. Okay guys, so I am trying to kill these cows because I need to get an 11 experience. Here cow. Cow essence. So it's not perfect, this pickup system, but it works. Oh, cows. Cows! I need 11 experience. Please. Come here. Keep feeding me. There we go. Essence. Go, 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 go. Okay. So, anyways. I have been hard at work at digging. If I can get through this water, I will show you guys what I have been doing. Come on. Let me out of here. So this is the one spawner. And this up here is going to be the other two spawners. Basically, mobs will spawn in a 9x9 nine nine area by 3 high. So once I put the grass back in, it will have 1, 2, and 3 right below it. And then it will all drop down into a stream of water. Unfortunately, I can't get any more in here. But, that said, the game has... At the absolute most, we'll try to spawn a mob every 10 seconds. So, I am going to push the mobs this way and out. And then these ones will push this way and out. And basically what I'm going to do with that is, as long as I can get them out of the area within 10 seconds, I don't need to go down 10 or 15 blocks, or I think it might be 16. Because I can't, because all my tubes are down there for the uh, cows. So I got my tubes like help flowing water. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it at this height and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna finish this up and I'll start to add the water in so we can get a good idea as to how this is gonna work. I'm using the wrong one. No! Ugh. What I need to do, no, 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 no. Oh. My pickaxe is almost broken. So, you and you. You and you. <laughs> Three versus a Okay. Well, that was a waste of a few minutes. Back at her. Okay, guys. So, I finished digging the hole. I put the spawners in. And for this skeleton spawner, pretty much I've linked it up to the old tunnel here. So they'll just fall down into there. So what we're going to do is make a bunch of signs and add the water in. So let me grab a bunch of this wood here. No! That works. Whatever. Um, give me all of you. Perfect. And now, let me grab my s bunch of buckets, empty out this inventory, and water, water. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I didn't think that through. Hmm. 
Okay. How am I going to do this? Three, four, five, six. No, get out of here. Hmm. Let me fill up the water. Dang. Well, no duh, Lucas. Jeez. Okay. I'll just do this. And what we'll do is something a little... That was an old tunnel. Something like this. So the water's pushing, pushing, pushing. Then it's going to drop down. The water will be pushing this way. So this is the tunnel I originally built for the uh, iron golems. Oh jeez. Actually, I just saw a creeper. We are trying to collect creeper essence. Okay. Don't do. Don't 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 don't. Don't 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 don't. Creeper essence. Okay. Oh, so much stuff. I need to get back up. Where did I fall through? Up here? Beautiful. Cobblestone. Cobblestone. Come on. There you go. I don't know if this is going to work, but... Seriously. Go away. Boom. Okay, that worked. And now again, if I do this, put water here, it'll push it all this way down this corridor. Perfect. That's exactly what I was wanting to happen. So I'll just keep making my way this way till I get to about here. Now I want to rotate ever so slightly ooh not a good thing actually I can just get rid of all this perfect so I'll put a sign right there now if I do this what is it up here and right there I put water there it'll get pushed Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. That works. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now they'll get pushed into that hole right there. So I'll swim back through this horrible water, and we will add the mobs in, put the grass on top, and that'll be the skeletons done. Okay, I'm not doing this. There we go. Same thing again. This way and this way all right so let me grab a bunch of dirt this chest works just like that and I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this safely okay guys so I'm almost finished this I just need to find my slabs I'm just gonna make some just like that. And now, yes, we can do this. Let me go up here. It looks so weird how open that is. I'm gonna grab a bunch of essence. How did water or wood get inside there? I don't know. Essence. 
I guess I only really needed two stacks. Not even. Like, no stacks. Okay, so... That sucks. That really sucks. Dirt. Something fast. And up. Darn, again. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Darn you. Darn you. Darn! Go away, please. Okay. Go away. Fla Flam. <laughs> Come on. Just let me. Oh. Okay. Break. God darn it. This isn't going to end well, is it? Go away. Okay, I need my bow. Where's my bow? Okay, three, two, one. It's okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, I needed that. Dude. Don't do it! Oh, you stupid! Okay, I'm doing it a different way. I'm doing it a different way. Get me out of here. <sighs> Cobblestone. I gotta dig st straight up. One, two, three. Oh, I did it. Okay, that's one down. One to go. Oh, I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. Okay, what we're going to do is, for one, grab more dirt. Okay. We're going to drop down here, come out to the side, and stack up. There we go. Now I can come down, put the spirit of the skeleton in, put that on top, jump up so much better and that's it and there's monsters nearby <laughs> okay i'm gonna try to sleep then we're gonna d get this one all set up guys we're getting close to being able to make a creeper spawner is there any in here oh my goodness we are one away from making a creeper spawner that's cool. Ooh. Didn't think about that. That should kill him. Um, ooh! Iron Golem! That's cool. Okay. Well, I'll put these back in here. That's cool. Maybe next episode we can get a creeper spawner going. But... Blue glass, gray glass... Let's do, um... Red glass. Right on. So, zombie spawner is going to go here. Oh, sorry. I want this. And then... Oh yeah, this happened again. I'm really not good at this game. Sometimes. Most of the time. I try. So, if I do you here. And you here. They all push... To there. That's perfect, actually.
Alright guys, so I'm just filling in the last of the water. If we swim up here, you'll notice that the tube is looking red as ever. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Sign, water, sign, and we are at the top. This is going to push them. That's okay. I'll do that there. That there. Put a piece of sign there. And then finally, boom. Perfect. That's it. Put that there. Now let's grab a ton of dirt and some zombie essence. Okay, are we ready to do this? I am. Zombie spawner, zombie. And that's it. So we've got skeletons constantly dying over there. We've got cows swimming up in behind here, going across here and down. We've got iron golems swimming through here. I wonder how that's actually made out during this episode. I'm pretty sure Three more iron golems, maybe? Yeah, that's very slow. If you guys have any advice for that, let me know. We've got villagers spitting out over here. We're going to have to have a tube for creepers, a tube for pigs, tube for sheep. Oh, this place is going to get cool. So these guys are dying already. I'll have to put water down here so they don't die in the like in, um, sunlight. And then I'll have a bucket of lava that brings them down to one heart or something like that. But yeah, they're just constantly flowing in now. And the skeletons are just constantly flowing too. So this is absolutely perfect. The skeletons, I'm going to have to do like a filter to only bring in bones and maybe skeleton essence. Because I think the bone arrows will get stuck. Oh, of course, I'll do arrows. But yeah, that is all I've got time for in today's episode, guys. Oh, we can do building blocks out of bones soon. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Cows are going in. How's this doing? Oh, so much steak. Oh, I'm liking this. I am liking this. But yeah, please, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really means a lot to me, and it helps out the channel. Also, leave a comment down below if you're enjoying the series, and if you want to see anything else on the channel, let me know there. I read my comments, I reply to every single one, but guys, most importantly, please don't forget to have a lovely day. Bye guys!